It never ceases to amaze me how many experts there are in my comment sections of my videos. I've been on the social media journey for about two years now. I've been amazed at how many people I've been able to reach and people I've been able to help. However, as always, there's haters out there. So in this video, I'm gonna read some of my haters' comments and respond to them, some in serious, some in jest, but I'm gonna have fun in this video. So stay tuned so you can hear all my haters' comments. The first comment I wanna talk about is probably the most common one I get. And this one is from conman2281, and it just says the word leech with an A. It's okay, we can understand what he's trying to say. It's actually L-E-E-C-H, not L-E-A-C-H, but that's fine, calling me a leech. The definition of a leech is an aquatic or terrestrial annelid worm with suckers at both ends. So I can definitely understand why someone would think I'm a blood sucking worm. I take distressed houses that are moldy and falling apart and no one can live in them, they're condemned, and I buy them and I fix them up and I sell them at market price or a little bit less to families that want to live in them. Or I fix them up and rent them at market rent to a great family that they can raise their family in a nice, safe community, and I take care of the tenants and I take care of the properties. So I can definitely see where you take that and combine it with the word leech and you know blood sucking from society. The things that I do and the properties that I buy and the communities that I improve are definitely worse off. I should probably just let those houses continue to deteriorate or let a hedge fund or Wall Street money buy them and you know let them sit a bandit for six to 10 months before they even fix them up or just kind of let them go to waste. I should probably work towards that. So thank you, con man. I will work on that and we'll get there together and I can be less of a leech. The next comment is from Rami Holdwinski and he said, parents money. I get that a lot. You use your daddy's money or your parents are rich. Unfortunately, that one's not quite true. My dad was an engineer and my mom was a teacher. We definitely didn't want for anything, but my parents didn't give me any money to start investing in real estate. It would have made things a lot easier if I had rich parents that funded me at the beginning or gave me money. That would have made things a lot easier. I probably would have been a lot further along. They were great supportive parents and they supported me in everything I do, but they didn't hand me any money. I wish they did. Mom, if you're watching, you know my address. You can send me a check if if you would like that can maybe help accelerate things aside from that I've done this on my own the next comment is from Manamir. it says you can make the same video without pointing the words pop up on a small screen you can't miss it the next comment is from georgie the immigrant i hate you the next comment is from smahidin hey not Everything in life is about money. I hope things get better for you. Thank you for bringing that up. I agree with you. Not everything is about money. Money doesn't really change you. It just makes you more of who you are. If you're a greedy person and you don't like helping people, you're gonna make millions of dollars and you're just gonna keep it for yourself. But if you're a nice, friendly person and you make more money, you're gonna do good things with that money and it's gonna give you options. If something happens in your life to a family member or something happens to someone you know or a charity really moves you, having more money allows you to give back and help more people. If you don't have money, and something goes wrong, like something happens to one of your parents or your children and you need money for some type of expense, having money helps that. Not having money definitely does not help. Having money has not made me happier, it has just given me more options. Money definitely doesn't buy happiness, but having more money doesn't always make things worse. The next comment comes from Brooke Sands. Homes that families could be owning don't feel proud. Now I do get this one a lot thinking that I'm buying houses that somebody else could buy. The houses that I buy are distressed and in need of repair. Most people don't have the money to repair them, they don't have the knowledge to repair them, they don't have the experience to repair them, and they don't have the time to repair them. So what I do is I take houses that are not livable, I fix them up and sell them and, and add them to the supply. I am actually adding to the supply and helping the market, not hurting the market. The houses I buy are not houses that are gonna hit the general market, and if they did, no one would buy them because not everybody can buy a house and has 50 grand cash to repair that house. So in fact, what I do is the exact opposite of what most people think I do. I add to the supply of houses for people to live in, buy or rent. I don't take away from that supply. The next comment is from Ace in Place. He flex in debt. If market crashes, he loses everything, but death worth the gamble. Well, I appreciate the positive ending to that. 
If the market crashes, I feel very confident that I will be just fine. First off, I don't see the market crashing, a potential correction or softening in the next 12 to 36 months, but nothing major. And when I buy my rental properties, I buy them with equity baked in. Most of my rental properties, I have 75% loan and 25% equity, meaning if the house is worth $200,000, I only owe $150,000 in that, and that's off the start. Over time, that property goes up and the mortgage gets paid down. So every single day, I'm getting more and more secure because I get more equity because properties go up in value, tenants pay the mortgage down. And when I wholesale properties, I don't even own a lot of them, so they go in and out quickly, so there's no real risk there. And the rehabs I do, I do quick, 20, 30, $40,000 cosmetic rehabs. So I'm in and out in 60, 90, 120 days. The market's not going to shift that much in that short period of time. It didn't even shift that much in 08. The housing market is a huge thing. And if it does dip or crash, it still takes months and years to do so. So as long as I'm in and out quickly and I have equity in my rental portfolio, I feel fairly confident, knock on wood, that everything will be fine. And honestly, I'll probably buy more houses if it crashes. Wanted to have a little fun in this video. No offense to anybody out there, people with negative comments, that's on them. I don't take it personally. I like that I get defended a lot in the comments. It's nice to see people on both sides of the ticket. That's okay, everyone can have their opinion. People throw out hurtful comments because guess what? Hurt people hurt people. No big deal, more power to you. Free speech, whatever you wanna say, throw it in the comments and maybe in these comments below in this video, why don't you throw your biggest hater comment and maybe I'll do a video replying to that. If you like this video at all, hit the like button, subscribe. See you on the next one.